Here at the CRP Henri Tudor, one of our core competencies is to conduct research in the field of materials, innovative materials. We have a full team of experts and high-level scientists dedicated to that. They work in a high-tech, well-equipped lab, and in this lab they can synthesize, process and produce these innovative materials that finally will enter in the composition of uh, your day-to-day -day product by solving some very important scientific issues. In the Stokomac project, we are trying to answer the question, can we design new generation of electrodes for fuel cells by using both innovative materials and a very simple technique of design. Basically, what is a fuel cell? A fuel cell is a device able to convert chemical reactions into energy. So you are using two gas, oxygen and hydrogen, that are combined in the fuel cell to form water and electricity. Eine Brennstoffzelle besteht aus zwei Elektroden, der Anode und der Kathode. Diese sind normalerweise aus Kohlenstoffmaterialien gefertigt, die mit Platin-Nanopartikeln dekoriert sind. Diese beiden Elektroden werden durch eine Elektrolytmembran, welche aus Natrium besteht, getrennt. Auf der Anodenseite diffundiert jetzt Wasserstoff und auf der Kathodenseite Sauerstoff ein. Der Wasserstoff wird gespalten in Wasserstoffprotonen und Elektronen. Die Wasserstoffprotonen können durch die Membran diffundieren, wohingegen die Elektroden den Weg über den äußeren Stromkreis nehmen müssen. Dort können sie elektrische Arbeit verrichten. Auf der Sauerstoffseite, also der Kathode, reagiert jetzt Sauerstoff, die Elektronen und Wasserstoffionen zu Wasser und Wärme. One major limitation of fuel cell is the carbon that you use to design the electrodes. And usually you use carbon and the carbon degrades fairly quickly, limiting fuel cell's life. And moreover, uh, the weak control over the architecture of the electrode forced people to use an excess of platinum that is uh, quite costly. To overcome this limitation, we have um, synthesized new kind of conducting polymer, uh, such as polyaniline, in combination with a new uh, technique of design, the so-called layer-by-layer technique, that is a technique allowing you to get a very good control over the architecture of the new electrode. And actually we used uh, polyaniline because it is a polymer that lasts longer than uh, carbon and uh, playing on the new material plus a new technique of design uh, can give a significant boost to the performance by decreasing at the same time the cost and we got for example three times better results in terms of uh, performance than the usual uh, fuel cell. Thanks to this Tokomat project, the CRP Henri Tudor is positioned as a major player in the field of renewable energies. The work already achieved in the frame of this project allowed us to publish some very important scientific papers. This already gave the CRP and the Luxembourg Research recognition in the community of scientists internationally. Today, the Stokomat project is still a research project. Um, the new material that we designed has been uh, tested in real fuel cells. A testing bench and so we designed prototypes and the very good results that we got have been uh, validated by scientific tests. The next step for the Stokomat project will be to find industrial partners in order to integrate our research in the next generation of fuel cell devices to power either your electronic devices or even your vehicle. Mm -hmm.